What's up guys, this is Vince with MarvelousMarketing.online. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the exact tools that you need to start your own podcast, help build your audience, and furthermore, help build your business through podcasting. So if you're into those things, then keep on watching. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell because I'm gonna be releasing more videos on how to build your brand, how to build your business through social media, through digital marketing space. Podcasts are something that we all can listen to while we're doing something else. So we can learn something, we can multitask, we can do something while we're learning something else. Before you start a podcast, you have to have an idea of what you wanna talk about. I want you to ask yourself, what do you like to talk about? What is your genius? What do you like to do? What do people ask from you? Because these are all things that people that you have an expertise in that people find know a lot about. So it's an easy topic for you to talk about. Do you cook? You can teach people how to make something. Do you feel like you inspire people? You want to make sure you research different topics and different ideas before you actually start your podcast. One good website that I like to use is called Answer the Public. In this website, you can basically type up anything. You can type up photography. You can type up videography. Um, you can ty- type up food. You know, anything. And it'll give you a bunch of different ideas that people are asking questions to when you're researching a bunch of topics, make sure you're writing everything down because a podcast can encompass everything. It doesn't have to be specifically one thing. You can talk about that and on top of a bunch of other things. Go to your friends and your family and ask them different topics that they think that you'll be good to talk about. It's always good to get other people's insight. So another avenue is interview podcasts. Maybe you're not an expert in something, but you want to know more about it. What you can do is go is reach out to experts in those fields. For example, I was actually watching a YouTube video of someone interviewing a TikTok famous person. The interviewer wasn't TikTok famous, but they got somebody who was and they were able to interview them and make content based around that. So not only did they learn, the interviewer learn more about that topic, but they also educated other people about it and they were able to build content around it. So interviewing people is definitely a good podcast to have. You can't have a podcast without any equipment, right? And I think a lot of people overthink this because equipment for a podcast doesn't have to be expensive. What I like to use in my podcast, Chomp and Things, by the way, um, in case you want to check it out on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, plug. It's cool. We talk about business and food. A lot of people that like food and business, which is me. So that's why I do it with my friend, Judy. But anyways, back to equipment. What I like to use is this blue snowball, snowball ice microphone. It's kind of black. You can't see it. But this actually does a really, really good job. Um, You get really good quality. It was about 50 bucks when I bought it on Amazon, maybe about three, four months ago. That's a good mic to to use. You can also use your headphones that you get with your iPhone or any phone that you get and just use the mic attached to it. That that mic is actually really good and it'll work for the job you're trying to do. I remember actually once what I did is I actually just used my phone as a mic. It might seem a little unconventional, but what I did is I put on voice memos and we all like used it as a mic and it picked up the audio really, really well and it worked really well for that podcast. That really is uh, bigger than my head. (laughs) You can't say that you're not starting a podcast because it's expensive and I use my phone I use headphones I use these Bluetooth headphones not all the time but you know it's good you don't need headphones because when you're talking to somebody half the time you can hear each other so headphones are just like a cool little additive that you can have over your ears so you look more professional but otherwise it doesn't really matter so editing software so what what, what I use to edit my podcast is GarageBand from my Mac computer it came free I know there's other editing software like audacity other people use Aud- audacity when you're interviewing someone that's not next to you or not close to you you can actually use different web websites. I've used Zencaster before, which allowed me to interview a friend from far away that was somewhere else. Um, you can also use Zoom, which everybody is using these days for web conferencing, and it'll actually record your video and your audio. So not only can you make audio content, but you also can get some video content out of there to post on your Instagram and website. After you record the episode and then after you edit the episode, what you need is a place to host the podcast on. What these hosting site does is it hosts all of your episodes and it sends out a signal, the RSS feed is what it's called, to like Google Podcasts, to iTunes, to Spotify, your audience to access your episodes. I like to use Simplecast. Um, There's other ones like Buzzsprout, Anchor. There's a bunch of them that have different features. But basically, you need a hosting website to host all of your episodes so people can access them. So make sure you research that and figure out one that you like and use it because that's the only way to do it. And that's about it. That's all it takes to start a podcast. You just need an idea. You just need some equipment. And then you just need a hosting website to get it started. And what's cool about podcasts is it's a long form content for people to really get to know you and it'll help build your brand more and essentially help you attract more clients to your own business. Oh, and also check out my last two videos that that focus on getting more comfortable in front of the camera like I'm doing right now and how to edit a TikTok video because those are two things that you can do to help build your own 
business and bring more awareness to what you're doing in life. If this was any way helpful, please remember to hit the like button. Please remember to subscribe. And don't forget, be marvelous.